Hello, this random person here. Um, this is a server I play a lot. I'm a head ad senior admin. Um, actually, I'm head senior admin, but the thing's messed up. Anyway, I've done a lot of uh, Minecraft. Oh, I play a lot of Minecraft, and I've done that one Let's Play. And, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Here's my scan. Oops. Dash. Time day. Dash. Other sun. Anyway, here's my skin. Just thought I'd show it real fast. I kind of made it myself, uh, for the most part. But um. Anyway, we shouldn't be here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. People are pissing me off. I keep messing with my stuff. Get to that in a sec. Anyway, this is my temple. Um, more, these are the stairs. I made this place almost completely by hand. Uh, a little bit of world that it was used for some stuff, but not really. And I, I guess I'll go ahead and tell you what I used for world, what I world edited it with. Uh, anyway, I just want to kind of show this because I play on servers a lot, but I don't really do a whole lot. Like I don't. I've done a few. I've been in a few live streams. There's my statue. Um, and stuff like that, but, um, I don't know. A couple people, a lot of my friends and people, like, on forums that I posted my link to my Let's Play, liked it. People wanted more. I might do another survival, not completely sure. Um, but I just wanted to do this to kind of not really show off my building abilities, but kind of show you what I can do. Um, so this is just the bedroom. Um. I like these stairs. I don't remember where I got, I mean, not stairs, chairs. I got this uh, design from some website. Sacrificium. I should say die. It's whatever. It's got the furnaces behind it. I thought that was clever. It's, kind of, it's supposed to look like a dragon head, too. Um, I guess it kind of does. See, those are the eyes. It's the mouth. Anyway. Uh, this is an altar. I don't know. Whatever. Little uh, overhang. Oh, and as you can see, it's kind of like floating. Not really floating. It's held up by these things, and it's built into the side of the um, the sides uh, of this mountain that had this hole in it naturally. Uh, this is where I did some world edit because I world edited these to go all the way down to bedrock, all of them. Not really sure completely why. Um, I just thought it looked cool. But, uh, what is that? Oh, well, I'll look at that later. I'll probably just regenerate it. Uh, yeah, I didn't show you this. Oh my god, people keep messing with my stuff. It pisses me off. Adam did that. I know he did. There's supposed to be a dragon egg there. I literally have to fix that dragon egg every single time I get on the server. I'm not even kidding. Oh my gosh. And but they never touch the other one. They always mess with this one, but never the other one. There is another one. Um oh I forgot about this too. There's this little thing. Mal Dictus Templum. There's a little sign under here that um if if a normal player stands if like a normal player gets anywhere near here, it smites them, which would be uh strikes them with lightning. Um so if they stood there they get killed. So I thought that was kinda cool. Anyway, so I'll just continue up the stairs a little bit. Up to here. This is the Sancti Potum, the sacred bridge. So, you know, oh, I guess I'll show you how it looks real quick. It's, more, it's supposed to kind of look like those wooden bridges that 
you know, have that U shape to them. Um, my statue, man. So, I don't know if I showed you this yet. The uh, Sancto Sacrum de Anubis, sacred statue of Anubis. Um, just a statue of my skin. Just a statue of my skin. But, um, yeah. I made this bridge. Let's take the boat on. Um, let's see, what should I show you? Oh, this is another thing. Like, that thing goes all the way to bedrock, too. I just like the idea of the stability. I'll show you that in a sec. There's actually a spider spawner in there. So at night, well, I can just do this. Spiders will spawn in there. But that's cool. See, here's another dragon egg. Both the all the temples say Templum de Anubis. There's one more temple in the server, but it looks exactly like this. So I'm not even gonna go there. But I uh, see spiders spawn inside of there. I just thought it was pretty cool. This is supposed to be like a collapse tunnel. Um, yeah. I'll show you this real quick. So this is the... One sec. The, uh, oh, let me show you this. Do you see anything in here? Does this look out of place to anybody? Nope, that's what I thought. Anyway. <clears throat> the Fountain of Good Fortune. Fountain of lava, motherfuckers. This, the Adamus Damnosus Altair. The uh, sacrificial diamond altar, or something like that. So let's just go back here real quick. Sacrificial rites are key to our holy practice. The process is deadly simple. All you do is follow these instructions described below. Praise Anubis. And then this is talking about not stealing the sword. I'll show you in a second. Basically, you acquire the sacrament sword, which is in there, in a single bushel of wheat, flip the switch and lure an animal out of its bindings, which I'll show you in a sec, lure the sacrifice onto the altar, uh, make thy holy sacrifice and replace the sword in wheat, and uh, if you're having trouble keeping the pig on the altar, you can feed it a thing of wheat. So you put the wheat in your hand, flip the switch, lure the piggies out, come on, there we go. Three. Interesting. You get them to come up on the altar. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. Come on. Come on. Get on the altar. Oh my gosh, get on the freaking altar. Rah! Okay, almost. Come on, come on. Come on. Getcha. Come on. Come on. Whatever. Server's reloading. Ah, it's murdered. Oh gosh. Dash GM. Okay. So anyway, um, obviously you don't have to put them on the altar. It's whatever. Oh, the sword has unbreaking ten, fortune two, sharpness ten, and fire aspect five, meaning it'll one shot even most people. Pretty powerful. Let me put that wheat back. And then uh, you just kind of. I'll tear it that way. So this <laughs> I'm just gonna go up here. Here's another sign warning you not to steal the sword. I made that a long. I made that a pretty good while ago, because I haven't done anything with this temple for a while. Um, but uh, I don't know if I showed you this building. There's nothing to it though. It's just um, really freaking simple. So yeah, it's just a little, I don't even know, an altar or something. I don't even know, really. I've done a few, like, fist-to-fist -fist fights with well, without survival mode on in that place, but other than that, I haven't really done anything. I let some people build houses near... Oh my god, he's not supposed to put glowstone there. What the fuck? Oh, that's right. He pissed me off, so I deleted the door I built for him. Whatever. 
I put a I built a pist a simple piston door here. I also did this thing. I love that. Whoa! Why do they keep breaking it? Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? You know how hard this thing is to build? Why do they keep breaking it? Ah! No. Anyway, that's supposed to push you, but since someone decided that they don't like a trap that murders everyone who steps on the pressure plate, they decided to destroy it. How fucking nice of them. Oh, wait, it's supposed to be right here. No, it's not right here. It's, it's, it's right here. What the fuck? I'm not even going to mess with this crap right now. If freaking Hawkeye was working, I'd figure out who did it and rage at them, or ban them, or both. Anyway, whatever. What it's supposed to do is a piston right here. This thing would push out and knock you into this hole, and then you fall into the lava. Okay, dash warp. Okay, here's the other thing I built. Let me turn off full bright. Okay, so uh, you're in this random cave. Alright, just a random natural little cave. I think they were talking to me. This is, uh, I did all this by hand. And I made that door. This door's freaking awesome. Uh, he's gonna restart the server soon. But, uh, this door is... Uh, it's really complicated. The pain in the ass to build. Like to figure out how the wiring works took me like two hours. We're really deep underground. Yeah. Whatever. Oh no. Anyway, we're really deep underground. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I hate this client. Okay, we're really deep underground. Basically, I made the door in creative and then um, pasted it here. Like, I just found a random cave and I've kind of found a good spot really deep underground. Uh, this is really close to bedrock. So, I put pasted the door there. And then I came here, I went out a little bit and made a giant dome of air, which, you know, deleted all the stuff. Then I placed bedrock at the very bottom layer and pasted like chunks of dirt. I did this all by myself. I had actually, no, actually the giant dome was done with world edit by a friend. Um, so I didn't actually do that. But uh, I did everything else myself. He put the glowstone. I guess I should say that. In case he watches this video and rages at me for not giving him credit. He placed all the glowstone. Uh, but anyway, I came in here. I like use world edit, selected like a chunk of land and turned it all into dirt. And it was just like giant blocks of dirt. And then I actually came and shaped it by hand and created this landscape by hand. If oops, I'll full bright so you can see under the water. I placed the water using world edit. Um but anyway, so like I actually did all of this by hand. It took fucking hours. I am not even joking. It took forever. Um, it's actually got like depth, depth to it, kind of like, oh, stupid, that's right. Actually kind of like real water wood in Minecraft. Like you kind of like fall, it gets deeper and deeper. And, um, yes, I do have a hack client in case you haven't noticed yet. Um, but yeah, I did all this by hand. And then, um, there's not really not much to it. I just did this today. I worked freaking hours on this. Not even sure what to do with it. The server's gonna, we're gonna be getting a new map when 1.2 comes out. So, like, there's no real reason to do something with it because we're gonna lose it anyway. Because we can't, if, like, we could probably copy this, but it would take forever because it's so massive. I mean, look at this, it's huge. 
uh, the glowstone up there doesn't cause any light down here. In fact, if these torches were gone, this bridge would not be illuminated at all, even with all this glowstone around it. Maybe from that glowstone, not directly under it. But I did all this, like, shaping by hand. I placed all the dirt by hand, the grass, the torches. <laughs> I did this waterfall because I thought it looked cool. So this thing took hours. It's got a real natural shape to it, in my opinion. I mean, it I feels natural to me. But, uh... It's not. This is man-made. I mean, I guess you can tell it's man-made because it's not perfect. But, because like that little peninsula that I'm looking at, like that, doesn't look that great. But uh, I don't feel like messing with it because this place isn't even going to be here long. This was kind of like a proof of concept idea kind of thing. Just to kind of see how it would look. The idea was like an oasis that's in a giant dome underground. Um... So this that was the idea. This is what I did with it. Um, yeah, it's a little underground lake. Although, like, if natural lakes in Minecraft spawned like this, that'd be freaking awesome. Cause this looks like I don't know if like actual underground lakes would spawn with like this like you know depth and shapes to it, kind of like natural Minecraft lakes. That would be amazing. I'm gonna sneeze, I can feel it. So, uh, yeah. This is this thing. I'm gonna stop recording and, um, go to this other server. So, one sec. Okay. Here's another server I'm working on. Um, this server is really cool because it's like half, um, fly mob, I mean, half. Creative half survival. Yes, Helly, if you're watching, I do, I do use no fall on your server because of the fact that you allow me to fly, but then if I land, it kills me. Boom, dead. So I use no fly. I mean, I use no fall. Sorry. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, this is I love this server's like the way they did the land. They did something like really special. From an old terrain uh, generator um, plugin or something like that, and then they convert it to work for this newer Minecraft. And uh, you should see some of the trees. I might, before the end of the video, go show you some of the trees on this world. They're amazing. They're freaking epic. Anyway, so uh, I'm still working on this. I'm still under construction. I don't have very much, but. Uh, it's got that same type of door as the one I built for that giant dome I just showed you. Um, but I built this one in basically survival mode where I had to get, go and get almost all the supplies and stuff. So um, it can be built. It doesn't have to be built in creative. It is possible to build it in survival mode. It just takes a bit longer. But once you have the design down, it's no problem. I might make a tutorial showing this it is a pain in the butt to build. When I first came up with the prototype, like, it took me three or four hours to get it right. And I got the initial design from a video I watched on YouTube talking about the, uh, the doors of that design. Um, um, so yeah. That was, this is, I'm kind of pulling from my, um, temple theme that I just, that I showed you on the other server for what I'm going to build here. Um, I'm not completely sure what it is yet. I made this little lake. It wasn't naturally here. I just thought it looked cool. This was before I made the dome, too. Like, I made this lake before I made the dome. Here's my, um... <laughs> my... Mining tunnels. Anyway, I'm not gonna go over down there. Oh my gosh. Oh. Um... By the way, I do not mind, when I'm playing legitly, like I do on this server, I do not mind all the way to, um, I, I mean, I, I do not mind in the dark. I actually use torches. Like, I haven't even been back here yet. I don't think it goes very far, though. No, it doesn't go very far at all. I do not use, uh, I always use torches. I do not use, uh, Fulbright. I just, I think it's cheating 
The only reason I even have this client is because um, admin on that other server, and I use it to catch griefers. Um, like I'll vanish and I'll teleport to a cave and I'll turn on Fulbright. I, I mean, I'll teleport to a player I think is griefing, and I'll turn on Fulbright and uh, you know, whatever. Open their inventory, make sure they don't have stuff they're not supposed to have, all that junk. Um, so that's really the real reason I have this client. Um, just kind of regulate my server a little better. Plus, this server allows flying, and this client has a fly, um, you know, hack, I guess you call it. But uh, anyway, it's not that bad. I don't, I don't, I don't, I haven't really checked most of the uh, crap. Like, I don't know what most of this stuff does. I know that this makes it always be day. I use that every once in a while when I have to like go far places at night. But uh, I don't know what half this crap does. I know criticals makes me punch with more damage, so I I I'm, I won't lie. I do use it every once in a while when I do PvP. But uh, I haven't checked out any of this crap. I don't. I'm not a griefer. I don't try to grieve. I uh, just. Like I said, I use the client to stop griefers on my ser on the server I play on, which I'm not going to give you the IPs for. No offense to any of you. I'm not going to give you the IPs for either of these servers. I'm sure you could find them if you tried hard enough, but uh, I'm not going to give them to you. Anyway, so this is what I got so far for here. The ores are because this has that abusive gate or whatever, the thing that makes uh, x-ray useless. Which I don't even use X-ray anyway, so I don't even care. But uh, it has like it caught, the only problem I have with this plugin is that next to stairs it causes it to show iron ore or diamond ore depending on where you're at. Like if, you have, if I was deeper down, it would show diamond ore. I think it does anyway. But uh, yeah, X-ray. <laughs> I'm not really sure how this plugin works. I know how X-ray works. But, uh, I don't know. Because that's another thing. We actually use x-ray to catch griefers, too. Because, like, if we teleport somebody and they're mining in the dark, sometimes we'll kind of full bright and see what they're doing. And, uh, like, if we turn on x-ray and they're mining, like, straight for diamond and straight for gold and stuff, that's when we, you know, kick them for hacking and can't possibly ban them if they start running their mouth and all that crap. Um, but, yeah. Just want to show you some stuff I built. Uh, I've actually built a hell of a lot more cool stuff. Like uh, I had this huge underground town on the server I used to play a lot, but the server—I don't know what happened to the server. Like it just never went back up. It went down one day and never came back. But uh, I had a huge, awesome underground town. It was like spent like two weeks making it. Um, I had creative mode. I'm. So, I mean, I'm not going to say I built it in survival. This place was massive. But, um, yeah, it was huge. It had, like, I mean, it was just, oh, my God. It was cooler than, I think the biodome, that, that not biodome, that dome is the coolest thing I've built so far. Ooh, creeper. Back off. Back off! Ow. But I think that uh, dome is the coolest thing I've built so far. But, um, that thing was, that thing, other thing was pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. Anyway, uh, tell me what you think about my builds. Um, I think they're pretty good, but, you know, other people have different opinions. Um, they all kind of have this, they all kind of have the same feel to them. I'm really good at building underground. I'm decent at building above ground, but, like, my specialty is... Underground, this is nowhere, this is like the very, I've worked on this for less than a day. Like, seriously. This is nothing. So far. It could, it, it might become cool. I mean, it, it's probably going to become cool because I'm going to work on it. Like, uh, as you can probably already tell, this is like going to be the main room. Here's like the chest. This, I'm going to move my chest down here. This is like where my smelters are. Furnaces, what do you want to call them? The crafting tables. I was going to say workbenches. <laughs> Um, but yeah.
Yep, 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 yep. If you want me to build on your server, like if you wanted me to build something on your server, uh, it depends on what you want. Like if you wanted one of those domes and you had world edit, I might like make you pay me five dollars or something because that shit takes hours to do. But uh, something like really simple, like maybe I built the spawn for my other server, not the spawn you saw. I didn't actually show you the spawn for the other server that I built. But uh, like I could build like some buildings, kind of like my temple or some stuff like kind of like what this is right now, uh, a little bit better actually, actually a lot better, or stuff like that probably for free depends on what you want just send me a message tell me what you want most I'd probably charge is like ten dollars because it is it is my time I'm spending and I'm not getting a whole lot out of it because I wouldn't be playing your server much probably so um you know that's why it would be like ten bucks um it's whatever though just send me a message I think I'm a pretty good builder I've done a lot of stuff you you don't need to sing half of the cool stuff I've done because a lot of it's just been lost to time. But, uh, yeah. Tell me what you think. Send me a message. Send me monies. Show me your boobies. If you're a female. Or, nah, I don't want to see males. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, it means a lot. Subscribe, rate, etc., etc. I talk a lot. I'm probably boring the shit out of you right now. I can see it in your face. Yes, I can see you. You don't think I can? You don't think I can see you? I can see you. I can see you. You. Right there. Right there. I can see you. Right there. In 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 there. Oh my god, they're all around me! Everywhere I look, there's a person. Every single place. Oh no, now they're looking at me. Oh my god! They're watching me! Anyway, I'm retarded. Um, yep, 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 yep. Have a nice day!